Welcome back. So, we're going to go to the track this weekend. It's Thursday. I figured I'd get a little head start on some stuff because, you know, we went once really early this year. So, this is might as well essentially be the first time we're... Might as well be the first time we've gone this year, which means it's always a chore remembering everything that we need to take. It's definitely the first time we're taking this car. So we got the trailer drug out. It's over there through the trees. I don't know if you can see. Um, got in the car and hit the, turn the ignition on and hit the starter button and I had nothing. I looked over and I didn't even have a dome light. I thought, and the door was open. I thought, oh, what the hell? Like, please have the battery be unhooked. I come out here, open the hood and it wasn't crap. I said, now it's got an electrical problem. It's got something draining the battery. Oh, well, it'll, it'll be all right once we charge it up because the alternator works. And so I got the big battery charger out and hooked it up and looked in the car with the door closed and the dome light was on. So the other day I put new bulbs in these right here. Clean the lenses up, put new bulbs in them so that they'd be a they'd be bright and look nicer. And I guess while I was cycling the headlights and fooling with all of that, I accidentally turned the dome light on and never realized it because the two in the back are burned out. So the only one that works is the one under the dash. Oh, well, we'll get it charged up. And I guess we're going to bring the generator along Saturday anyway. And I don't know if we'll bring that battery charger, but we'll bring a battery charger just in case. I don't expect to need to use it because like I said, it doesn't even have an electric water pump drive on it. So it's got an electric fan that I can run when the key is off, but it's just on the, the transmission cooler down here. So I might run it a little depending on how hot it gets, but I mean, if it doesn't ever get hot, I mean, we'll just come back and shut it off and open the hood and let air circulate around it. But anyway, so... So there's that. So we're going to throw some more stuff in the truck. And they're running a testing tune tomorrow night. But Better Half's got a birthday party she's going to. And it starts at like 4 o'clock until who knows when. So I'd have to come home from work, walk the dogs. And then the dogs need fed around 5. The track goes hot at 6. Takes me 50 minutes to get there. Um, so if I left here at 5.30, I'd be there, you know, by 6.30. Because it would probably take an hour, because Friday traffic through town is always terrible. Um, I don't know. It, I guess it just depends on how much stuff I get loaded up tonight, which I'm not going to kill myself. That's why I wanted to start tonight, so I get some of it done and finish it tomorrow. And then be ready to go Saturday morning and not have to do anything. But if I'm going to get anything done, I need to quit talking to this phone and get something done we're just gonna let that charge for an hour or so we uh i don't know if you can see it through there at the log book and weather station out of the race car and we got that thrown in there a couple of different bottles of uh, shoe polish it's not really shoe polish i don't know what you call it window marker uh got the generator out and fired it uh checked the oil in it and fired it up let it run 20 25 minutes um got the tune in the truck changed got the high performance tune out of it that it says you absolutely positively cannot tow with so we put the street tune back in it it says you can light light tow with it which is under 5,000 pounds uh, 3,000 pound car 1,000 pound trailer yeah we're under 3,000 we're under 5,000 pounds um Got all my tools picked up and in the box. Threw a gas jug in. We'll probably buy five gallons of 110. Not for that car, but for her car when we finally get it running. So in case that happens to be in January when nobody's open, we'll have five gallons of fuel to dump in it. Because it'll be 12 and a half to one. It's going to need, it ain't going to run on 93 octane like that red car. Um probably buy a couple gallons of generator fuel i don't expect to need to use the generator but if we buy you know 
if we fill up a two and a half gallon can of 93 octane, um, we can dump it in the red car if need be. It's got over half a tank in it. Um, three, maybe four passes. We're not gonna need to dump any fuel in it, but just in case, we'll bring that along. Uh, I've got a couple jack stands in here already. I need to, I need to grab at least one chair. But that's a decent amount of work for tonight. I mean, it's not great because, well, I, I really hope to get the car on the trailer tonight so that then I could wash it tomorrow. Um, but I guess maybe I'll wash it tomorrow and then load it because it's just really dirty from all that sand and everything. I did clean the back window. It was really nasty. I had a lot of overspray on it. I wonder why. I don't know who could have done that. Um, so that's where we are with this. We might just make this its own separate little video and... Hope we do go Saturday. The weather looks nice. It's supposed to be like 78 degrees, 77 degrees, sunny, no chance of rain. Um, there hasn't been any humidity the last few days. They're real low. It's been really nice. Getting down into the 50s at night. So those of you that have been following along and playing along and keeping up with this whole thing, post your prediction down in the comments what you think it'll run. Remember. 351 Windsor, standard bore, stock dish pistons, 901 compression, solid lifter cam, 242, 246 on a 106. AFR enforcer heads, not the pretty CNC'd ones. 4600 stall converter, 46, 48, I'm not sure it's somewhere in there. So we'll say 45 to 48. 471 gear. Um, I have an idea what it's going to run, what I think it'll run. But I don't know if that's right or not. So toss your, toss your predictions down in the comments. The winner gets a big old thumbs up because I don't have anything to give anybody. We're not that kind of channel. Oh, yeah. 750 Race Brawler Carburetor, um, Edelbrock Performer Air Gap Intake. Water pump alternator is hooked up to the crankshaft. Keep that in mind. That's a power robber. Um, but... I'll probably about do it. Maybe we want to get a little something edited and we can knock a couple of videos out. And I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Yay! Um, I don't know what it means, but it's just a milestone, you know, like 200 was and 300 was. But that's probably going to do it for this episode. I'm going to go in the house, get a little something to eat. Let this battery sit out here and cook for a while. And then come out here and turn it off after a bit. Let's see where we at now. Yeah, it's still pulling a pretty good charge. I hope it comes down. I hope I didn't kill that brand new battery. That'd be about my luck, wouldn't it? Anyway, we'll talk to you later.